Okay, let's get started adding our navigation menu. We're gonna add it just above the Jumbotron, above this main callout. And it's worth noting that we only see this admin bar up here, this black admin bar, because we are logged in as an admin. If you log out and go to your home page, this URL up here, then you probably won't see that anymore because it should only show up if you're logged in. Okay, so what we're gonna do, like I said, is we're gonna grab this code and pretty much copy some of this stuff over. We don't need all of this stuff in our bare bones search bar at first. So we're just gonna copy bits of it. So I'm gonna just kind of type it out and you can follow along. Make sure to pause the screen as needed because you want to make sure you type this perfectly right. So here we go. Start with this nav element and we're gonna give it a class attribute here. Then we close that. And I'm just gonna space this out so there's some space. So this is the opening nav element, this is the closing tag. And then remember we tab inward when we're nesting inside of tags. So we're gonna do a div next. And this one's gonna have a class set equal to container. We'll just start with container fluid. There's two types of containers we can work with. And then from here, We'll do another div. And it's good to kind of label with a comment here so that you know what closing tag this is referring to. So we'll say container fluid. We'll say that kind of we already know we're referring to the opening nav. So this is a pretty long line right here, so I'm going to cut that closing button tag. We're going to add it down below here. So make sure you've got that. Pause if you need to. I'm going to place that closing button tag right here. And then in here, and I'll explain what all this does. We'll add the span, give it a class equal to SR only. And then we'll say toggle navigation. And then over here we'll say span class equals to icon dash bar. Close that and we'll do this two more times underneath. So copy and paste those. And remember it's a good habit to actually write out all the code when you're doing these tutorials. It just builds muscle memory and writing is really the best way to learn to code. Okay, so that was one chunk of the navigation bar. Let's finish this out now. So just a little bit more to go.
Okay, so we've basically got our nav bar now, just a template of it. And this is kind of coming from this version three of the bootstrap nav bar. You can see I just kind of basically pulled some of the code. We didn't need all of this stuff in our nav bar. Okay, so I'm gonna save this. Make sure you save it. I'm gonna run my project, so my server is now running. And then I'm gonna go over and refresh and see what happens. Okay, cool, so we have a nav bar installed now.